we are live. Right? Uh, would you rather spend time on social media, wasting time and looking at the things that doesn't add value? Or would you rather spend time on social media with people who really believe in their dreams and goals, taking constant action to achieve them? People who think big, uh, visionaries, go through all these challenges and struggle and grow as an individual along with the community. Uh, if you are that kind of a person, you are at the right place my friends and this is the right time the next 30 minutes screen time i assure you you are not going to waste it we are going to add so much of value friends thank you so much for tuning into one minute motivation community page my name is asif if you don't know me i am the founder of one minute motivation community as a community our objective is to introduce people and their ideas and their experiences and stories that will practically help you to take action to change your life you are watching us right now and i assure i assume you wanted to learn as an individual what you can do to perceive your passion and live your passion at the same time for me i am in the process of uncovering my passion i personally wanted to learn the secret uh, or if i put it in a better way uh, the secret formula to find my passion. And uh, my, my, my daughter just came. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking to myself, uh, okay, Angel. So and this is what happened like when we go live. So we want to say hi. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hello. Right. <laughs> right. So I was, I was thinking to myself, whom shall I bring to talk about this topic? Then I saw this video of this speaker. Uh, if you are thinking whether the speaker is a rock star, yes, he is, my friends. And you'll be surprised to know his profile. Bye, Bye baby. Uh, so, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, and um, my friends, you'll be you'll be surprised to know his prof profile. Let me let me share some thoughts. And he's an aeronautical engineer, a software engineer, neurolinguist, master practitioner. Uh, practical uh, psychologist, life coach, international speaker and a trainer, musician, entrepreneur. My friends, the list goes on. <laughs> Deepesh, how do you do all this? I am so sorry to throw a sudden question at your face. I really wanted to know, how do you manage all this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Asita. Firstly, I would like to say that I'm very grateful and humbled to be here. Thank you once again. Okay, so what matters most to me is my inner well-being. So first thing, before doing anything else, what I do is I focus on my inner peace and a tranquility of mind. So if I have the tranquility of my mind and I have my inner peace, I can focus on other things. Until and unless you yourself are not at peace, you cannot do anything, nothing at all. So how do I keep myself at inner peace? How do I gain my tranquility? That's more important. So I take care of a few things, which is very, very important for all of us. I would like to state them. First thing, I focus on my emotional well-being. Then I focus on my mental well-being. And then I focus on my physical well-being. And then I focus on my spiritual well-being. And then on my financial well-being. If all these five components of life are in alignment, only then I can think of something else. Otherwise, even if one of the components is disaligned or is missing from the great picture of your life, you will not be in a position to do something extraordinary. Finance is very important. Financial well-being is very important. Spiritual well-being is very important. Emotional well-being is very, very important. Your mental well-being is also important. And as well as your physical well-being, is extremely important so mm -hmm. if all these factors are in alignment then you can think about your passion then you can think about what you have to do how you have to balance first balance yourself balance your life only then you can think about balancing something else so i would like to tell everyone to focus on these five areas of the life your emotional well-being your mental well-being and your physical well-being your financial well-being and your spiritual well-being if you are well off in all these five areas, you will be having a great life.
thank you so much asi yeah so dibesh uh, so mm -hmm. uh, i mean thank you so much for uh, explaining that so one of the challenges i would say i am i am uh, speaking to you as a viewer and uh, okay. now uh, what i understood from you is if you manage all these five elements you can perceive mm -hmm. your passion right Th that's Absolutely. what i understood so mm -hmm. i'm sure one of the biggest challenge people as as human beings that we have is financial management and and it gives us so much of stress uh, mm -hmm. if that is not in line right so which means mm -hmm. will it impact on, on us or will it impact on our passion perceiving passion mm -hmm. okay before i answer this question i would like to break it down okay so yeah. before i talk about passion passion is just a part of it let me give you the whole picture what i focus is the mission in my life the mission in life which is more important than a passion so how mm -hmm. i segregate my mission first thing that gets into the picture of this grand mission of your life is your interest okay it's always it starts with the interest and remember that interest is something that excites you that makes you happy okay or you get curious and you feel like doing it but interest is only temporary it changes again and again so so many mm -hmm. people are confused they are trying to pursue their momentary interest and they say that it's their passion or their mission yeah we have to be very careful that interest is something that fluctuates again and again for me okay while i was a kid i was very much interested to play video games i used to love playing video games and that's my interest till now sometimes when i have nothing to do i play video games yeah and my interest was reading history books i love that my interest is also you know pursuing different courses and getting more certifications that's also my interest yes even mathematics is my interest and i'm deeply interested in philosophy and psychology so you see yeah. i have a lot of interest yes but interest varies from time to time it cannot be constant now the next level of interest it's called passion passion is something when your heart and soul is completely aligned to that thing you completely want to do and while doing that you have no idea of the rest of the world what's happening around it barely matters to you because you're completely yeah. involved that's called passion and the difference between passion and interest is that passion lasts longer than interest sometimes even your passion might okay you might have another passion and you might have multiple passion at times but mm. the difference between interest and passion is that passion will have a longer duration than interest so for me okay initially i was interested in playing guitar when i was a kid when i was around 8 uh, years old I, i just hold a guitar i was just trying to play something yeah. and then slowly this interest developed more and more as i grew older and older so what happened was i started loving guitar i started completely okay playing music whenever i wanted when i felt sad or whatever to do something else when i didn't feel like okay nothing's going good in my life i used to catch me and play music so what's happening is this developed into a passion my interest which was at the ground level now it got developed into the passion and passion can also be your alternate profession passion can also fetch you money you're getting that right so passion is something which has a longer scope in your life mm -hmm. which stays with you for a longer duration whereas interest it comes and it goes and the third stage of this mission is something called purpose a purpose mm -hmm. the highest form mm -hmm. so since i was already interested in the history and uh, mathematics and philosophy psychology and reading and gaining knowledge i knew that pursuing only my passion will not do a greater good because passion is something that fulfills you that makes you happy but purpose is for the greater cause for the rest of the people so i understood that if i can use my interest my passion as my purpose then that will fuel up my mission in life Mm. so i focus on the mission and uh, my interest my passion and my purpose gets aligned by following my mission and it's not something like i'm doing something extra or i am trying to fit in a lot of things in my life it's not that it's a very 
state of my existence like playing guitar so yeah. playing guitar is important for my even emotional well being because uh, i give music classes even to small kids and small babies and i feel very good while connecting with them so mm-hmm. it helps me to maintain my emotions when i am emotionally fluctuative so that is something that makes me feel good even while sitting alone in my room and playing guitar and singing it makes me feel good mm-hmm. so that got developed into giving classes and doing shows and performing and so it also became a source of another income so you can see like my interest my passion and my purpose is aligned here and second thing why i do work out it's because again i need to be fit right so if i'm yes. not fit i can't do anything else so for this what i do is i do work out and again for my financial fitness i have to see ways of earning money right legally and ethically uh-huh. so again uh-huh. that also becomes a part of my life so once you see all this alignment my interest is developing into my passion and then it's getting aligned through my mission as its purpose so uh-huh. once i am walking this path what happens everything falls into its places so i am having a better state of mind a better state of existence wow wow so what what actually captivated me is uh, deepesh uh, mm-hmm. so you have you have developed certain interests uh, based on the emotion mental physical spiritual and finance uh, criteria and those mm-hmm. interests gradually became a passion mm-hmm. is it so absolutely i mean that's that's amazing i mean i never i, I never thought about it thought about the passion in that way so my my friends if you are listening so if you have, if you have different interests so focus on those interests which will give you a, a satisfaction and that satisfaction can be diverted into a passion right that's amazing so uh, the second question uh, to you deepesh from my end and we spoke about passion and 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 we, you know uh, like a few years back i myself struggled to find my passion now i am living my sort of living my passion through through the one minute motivation community page and uh, like you correctly said when you start per, like put your heart and soul into it you don't know what's happening outside so because you are in it you don't know the time that you are spending and everything is aligning and uh, i can sense it i can feel it so Uh, my question is to you you are just a living breathing human being like us right so a common problem i would say is struggling to find in passion which you have already answered in your previous uh, question so how do you find time to align your passion with with the things that you are doing okay thank you so much asi again so how i segregate things is okay i have to do so many things in life because life is all about experiences until unless you don't experiment multiple things you will never know what is your passion you will have multiple interests but work on your interests work on all of your interests and within that interest you will find that something will be aligned with your inner well being and that will be a mm-hmm. passion and uh, now what's happening is once you experiment more and more you will fail in most of the things what you do but there will be few things that you will be extremely be good at and that will be a passion now okay let me come back how do you manage things you see what is the problem with the people is that while they are doing one thing they do 10 things at the same time the thing is that the mental alignment is the biggest problem for most of us mm-hmm. what i do is I, i i use a concept called okay it's a concept from the book called the deep work by carl newport so what does he i mean like the concept which he gives us, all of us to use is that while doing something just do that one thing have deep focus and concentration on one thing at one time if you try to do many things at one time what happens mm-hmm. you will be doing nothing but if you do one thing at one time then you'll be doing something so why do we like if i have to write an article okay i'll fix 2 hours 2 hours is only for writing the article and when i write an article i don't see my phone or i don't see and my laptop or i don't see anything outside i'm completely focused only on that and as that 2 hours is over i'm out of that so i'm doing one thing at one time but multiple thing 
on the same day. So that two hours over. So next thing, what I have to do? I have to go for workout for one hour or for two hours. So I start working out. When I'm working out, I'm only working out. I'm not doing anything else. So one hour workout, it's done. So after that, when I come back home, okay, maybe I feel like playing guitar. So one hour I'll play guitar. I'll focus completely on playing guitar. I'll play guitar. Now when I'm reading, I only read. So I do multiple things, but one thing at a time. When you are yeah. doing one thing, if you mix multiple things, then there will be a problem. But if you are doing one thing at a time, but multiple things simultaneously, then what's happening? You are experimenting as well as you are giving your full attention. And that way you are increasing your productivity. And that's very important. You have to increase your productivity. Only then you can manage doing multiple things. And everyone, whoever does multiple things, they don't do everything at the same time. They do one thing at a time. And then do multiple things one by one. Wow, wow. That's, that's, that's beautiful, Deepesh. I mean, my take home is like, um, like you correctly said, when I do something, I, I always keep my mobile phone close to my uh, close to me. And, uh, mm -hmm. and whenever I get a text message or notification, social media, I just immediately, you know, I put my focus into that. And ab you are absolutely right, because when I, when I, you know, check that notification, no reply the message or, and then, then come back to the work that I am doing and I have lost so much of yeah, that state of my <laughs> so energy. Yeah, that you are absolutely right. So I am definitely going to practice that. So one thing at a time, one thing focus, and but you need to do multiple things every day. Absolutely. Right? Beautiful. Yeah, there is one okay, small analogy. Okay, I'd like to give that. Okay. Once there was an old Zen master, so he was asked, Master. Okay, how are you so productive? How are you so good? Then what did the master reply? Child, I eat when I have to eat and I sleep when I have to sleep. Then the student got confused. What is the master talking? He asked, master, that's what all of us do. Even I, I eat when I eat and I sleep when I sleep. The master smiled and he told, no, son. Most of the people, they do not do this. Most of the people... While they are eating, they think of a lot of things and they start imagining. And when they sleep, they make multiple plans before sleeping and everything is getting mixed in their head. So they are not eating while they're eating and they are not sleeping while they're sleeping. That yeah. is the very nature of life, very much fundamental to all of us. But if you miss that, your life will be a mess. <laughs> Wow, such a beautiful story and it perfectly makes sense. Focus, focus, focus. Three key words, focus. Absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, I'm sure that you have already, uh, you know, share your fair share of um, uh, failures. Um, what was your biggest struggle in, in, in this journey, in your journey? And how did you overcome uh -huh. that? <laughs> so... If you talk about failures, like my entire life has been a failure. Okay, I see from the starting point. Initially, <laughs> it was good life when I was a kid, but once I grew up, okay, from this teenage to adulthood, I could see that everywhere I could see only failures. I failed everywhere here, there. I tried multiple things in my life, so many things because I was actually I didn't know what to do initially. Like most of us, I just passed, you know from your school, then you studied, okay, high school, back to college, you pursued an engineering degree, you started working, and while you're working, you're thinking, okay, what's happening with my life? Is this all about me? Is my whole life going to be like this? Mm -hmm. That's the moment when you start thinking. And it was this time when I started thinking and started taking action. And I tried multiple things. I tried multiple businesses. I tried multiple ventures. I did so many things. I experimented a lot. But... <laughs> I failed in most of the things, almost all. There were hardly a few things okay, I, I could do properly. Most of the things I failed, but those failures were something which I learned. Was because I, I learned to grow through what I go through. That's very important. I learned to go through what I go through. So all these failures and all the disappointment, miseries, and there were phases where, where I had to go through like uh, extensive things in life. Like... Uh, there was a phase when I was completely depressed, which I don't generally talk about. 
and uh, life was really bad really miserable but you know everything happens for a reason yes and in the end uh, right now if i see if i link dots backwards i understand that everything happened for the reason and the reason is good right now i'm the person who i am right now it's only due to my past mistakes and failures if i hadn't committed those mistakes multiple disasters i wouldn't be the same person who i am that's amazing and, uh, and regarding all this my experiences i had done a lot of things okay there was it it will go for days if i start explaining what what i did okay <laughs> so multiple <laughs> things i had done like one by one i had done multiple i have put my hands everywhere from stock market to cryptocurrencies to start network marketing to starting businesses to collaborating to you know car businesses <laughs> multiple we talk of businesses i have been there to most of businesses and i failed and i lost <laughs> most of the places and uh, there was something which made me come back it was when i could uh, connect well with the nature and i had an entire journey in the himalayas okay which lasted almost half month and uh, based on that uh my i'm i'm writing a book and um, all my wow. experiences and all my failures is mentioned that and if you read that you will just know that okay how bad i was and how badly i failed how miserable i was so it's it's like it's quite long so i have completely mentioned in that book and almost 90% of the book is complete so maybe in coming 3 to 4 weeks okay it probably should be completed and by next month maybe it will be released <laughs> that's amazing so you can see all my failures you will see that yeah now a master has failed more number of times than a beginner has ever tried hmm. it's like you f- the more you fail the more you move close towards your goal if you think that okay you will be perfect and every time you will be getting what you want then it's not going to happen not going to happen in any one of us yes wow thank you so much deepesh i really wish uh, you know we had more time uh, but uh, we have actually 8 minutes uh, i'm going to go with an with the final question uh, any okay. specific message you wanted to share with our audience share with our friends okay okay before i share a message i would like to give a small concept okay for people to find their passion or people okay who are struggling whether should they should follow their passion or not just think yes. about this okay there's something a small concept called ikigai okay a japanese concept of like in you know, a healthy yeah. living and long living and a life of fulfillment so what does it say if you want to do something in life think about its four questions the first question is what you love doing what you love doing second what are you good at what are you good at third will you be getting paid for that and the fourth question is does the world need it so if you have one answer for all this four question then follow it with your heart and soul that's your passion that's a mission that's your purpose you will definitely reach somewhere in life if you follow this ask okay what you are good at what you love doing for example if i talk about you see okay you are good at talking yes you are good with people see so what you are good at yes you got it second thing do you love doing obviously you love doing that's why you started motivation page right <laughs> and you are doing fantastic at it thank you third thing will you be getting paid for it obviously in the wrong run you will be getting paid for it that's important fourth thing does the world need it the world needs it the most it is the need of the hour all of us needs it so four question has been answered so it's simple as that you have found a passion <laughs> knowingly or unknowingly you got it great that's that's amazing i mean you have concluded this session with a higher 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 note so my friend <laughs> uh, what i request okay, now, you, yeah sorry okay yeah, last the last i just want to give my message to the world yes. my message would be live your life itself as a message to the world because you have to think that if your life is a message to the world people do not have to listen to your words or see what you are doing because your life itself is a message and remember when you tell to the people or when you want to make people know and understand that your life is a message you have to also think that your actions are so important so make sure that your actions should be done in such a way that you have to think about the entire world while doing actions so i just give a situation okay imagine your action would be replicated by the entire world 
think about that now you take action if you do the right thing and if you want to improve the world and make the world a better place yes take the right action always imagine that your action will be followed by the rest of the world so if you want to make the world a better place do the right action take the right thing only then your life will be a message to the world that is amazing that is amazing uh, adipesh well thank you so much well, <laughs> no there's no any other way to end this uh, session <laughs> right so thank you so much and uh, thank you so much for coming to my sh uh, show uh, adipesh right. and uh, this is really 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 incredible i love your answers i love your passion and uh, and what i what i uh, you know uh, um, understood and my take home from this uh, whole session is i need to write down what i uh, what what i love doing and i need to write down what i am good at and i need to write it down and see will will i be getting paid for what i am doing um, and this the world needs it right so i'm going to do it after this session i can i'm going to commit that to you and thank you so much for sharing your uh, experience uh, your story with, uh, with us adipesh and uh, friends i really hope you enjoy this little chat with deepesh uh, drop in the comment section your thoughts and your insight your, your uh, the things that we as a community can improve so you we can serve you better uh, follow and subscribe uh, one way motivation community and we are in all social media platform instagram youtube and facebook uh, yesterday we reach 6000 uh, followers which means that we have impacted or rather we have touched 6000 i'm eternally grateful for trusting us thank you so 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 much and and all this will help us to deliver value to you to improve yourself and if you think this interview can change someone's life my friends please do share with your friends and family you never know a small click of a button can actually change someone's life thank you so much until next time be phenomenal send in love and blessings thank you so much